Hello YouTubes and welcome to yet another Fireworks Mania devlog. If you're new to my channel, I'm building a game called Fireworks Mania while having a wife, two kids, a full-time day job and a dog. In this devlog I'm actually pretty much in a hurry because it's already Wednesday and I want this devlog to get out in the weekend and I need to get the save and load feature ready on the experimental branch for this weekend because I kind of promised you guys that you could test it out there. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing I want to add is a button that actually opens this folder that contains all these different blueprint files. First of all, if you want to have a look at the files and how they are structured. And secondly, if you want to share with each other, um, you can either take your file from here and send it to a friend or your friend can send one to you and you can put it in this folder and you need to restart the level and then you will see it up in here as it is right now. One big disclaimer here. Um, hopefully at the end of this video, I will say that this is now available on Experimental Branch, so you can test it out. But be aware that I'm still working very heavily on this, so the file structure will most likely change. And that means that the shows and the blueprints you create while testing this will maybe not work in the future. Of course, test it out a lot, do a lot of stuff, spawn a lot of stuff, see if it works, do all crazy things so we can see where it uh, breaks but uh, don't spend time setting up a super crazy show and spend hours on that because chances are that the file might not work in the future so just a little disclaimer of course you are welcome but uh, i told you now up front so now we have this little button that can open up the blueprints folder so that's great one little other note is that all this new stuff I'm doing in relation to the save and load feature or blueprints or whatever we want to call it um, none of that is is yet translated it's not localized so it will all be in English for now and the reason for that is obviously that I might gonna change a lot of it so it doesn't make sense to spend a lot of time translating all of these things that might get deleted or might get renamed or stuff like that so just a little note on that So today is Saturday and yesterday I managed to add a pop-up uh, UI for giving the blueprint a name. The issue with the previous solution with this the tef text box or input field in the top was that it was present at all time and it was kind of a UI that you didn't need it that much only when you are saving a new one. So there was some 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 UI stuff that was weird there. So I thought it made made better sense to have kind of a save as or save as new or something like that that pops up a box where you type in the name, maybe some other metadata in the future and uh, then save it off like that. So this text field is not present until you need it. Another thing after adding this is that I can see and I kind of knew that already that the UI here in the inventory is kind of getting a little um, a little too much things in too little space. I can't make it in this devlog or, or for this push out of this version that I will do this re weekend here to the experimental branch but I will for sure look into it next week or afterwards so I want to change it up so that we kind of have some top tabs too. Um, so I can kind of divide it like that and have have more content in the inventory but without showing it all at the same time. So just optimizing the UI a little, making it a little easier to figure out. So an initial version of this pop-up is actually in place now and is working. Uh, it's not super great because, you know, there are some still stuff still like when you type in if you type on the a s d and w you will actually move around and of course i need to disable that when that pop-up shows up and stuff like that but that's that stuff you know i'm iterating through and making it better and better as we go anyway so with that i will end off this devlog keep an eye on discord for announcements about uh, this version being pushed to the experimental branch and remember to give feedback and box and stuff like that let's have a discussion in the experimental channel on the discord about uh, what i should do and add and move and change and stuff like that and um, yeah see you in the discord and see you in the next video and remember to leave a like if you liked it see you